Hello everyone and welcome! A few weeks back I designed and 3D printed a bunch of racetrack barriers and some other scale items that turned out looking awesome. These would look right at home on any scale RC track or diorama. In fact, many of these items will be making their way onto the awesome 124 scale RC track being built over on the RC Supremacy channel where they'll look great alongside all of the highly detailed terrain and scenery. By the way, if you haven't yet seen his latest video, be sure to check it out. We're not just stopping at barriers and dumpsters though. In today's video, I'm going to be designing more racetrack accessories including functional lights and seating. I'll be covering every step from the design to printing and finally the assembly and painting, so let's dive right in and start with the design. I started by gathering some reference material in the form of some basic images. All the models that I'll be designing in this video are pretty simple. Here I'm starting with the lights. I did need to get some precise dimensions of the 3mm LEDs that will be used to make the lights functional. I'll need to make the light housing pieces able to accommodate the LED, as well as the wires going to it. Only the actual light housing and support pieces will need to be 3D printed. They're designed to be mounted to a 5mm rod. This will result in far less print time to make these lights, and as long as you're using some kind of open tube, you can easily run the wires through the center. I decided to make the light separate from the support piece. This allows for some adjustability on how they're positioned. For example, you can angle the lower lights down towards the ground, then have the lights on the second row angled a little farther out, and then the top row pointed almost straight ahead or at a very shallow angle. You can also adjust them slightly to angle either towards the left or the right side of the pole. This means that the lights will need to be glued to the supports, but I think it's nice to have that adjustability just like the real thing. When I was looking at reference images, I didn't see many light poles where they were all just pointed straight ahead. They were usually all at different angles. Now one of the things that I'm thinking about when designing all these objects is that I want to make them as easy to 3D print on a typical hobby FDM printer as possible. I actually added a flat spot on the front of the support piece later on to make a nice surface to be placed on the build platform which will make printing a lot easier. Admittedly, I'm not much of an expert when it comes to racetrack lighting, but I think it looks the part and should work great for illuminating any 124 scale track. Next up, I wanted to design some outdoor seating and tables. These were requested by Brad, aka RC Supremacy, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he incorporates these into his setup. Again, I'm no more a chair expert than I am a lighting expert, but I sketched out something that sorta looks chair-like and went from there. I don't know if this is the most beautiful outdoor chair ever, but it looks pretty nice overall. Looks like something pretty typical that you might find outside of a restaurant or cafe. The biggest thing really is just to make sure that the dimensions are accurate so that it's the correct scale and won't look too big or too small in relation to the rest of the track. Naturally, once the chair was complete, I designed a small table to go with it. Again, pretty straightforward, really not much to it in terms of complexity. I did separate this model into two pieces so that it's easier to print. With both the chair and table complete, I figured that the next item that would make sense to design would be a large outdoor umbrella. Again, a pretty simple model to make, though I did spend some time trying to make the actual umbrella part sort of look like it's cloth or whatever material these umbrellas use. Now you could really go into a ton of detail really making that upper surface look like cloth with wrinkles and some parts sort of stretched out, as well as really going into detail with the support structure, but for this project I just wanted to do something simple and not invest too much time or effort into really capturing every little detail, plus you have to keep in mind that these parts will be FDM 3D printed, and I'm not sure how much of any tiny details would really be visible in the final part. With this in mind though, I did make it so that the sort of triangular section sagged down some in the center to hopefully make it look a little more umbrella-like. All in all, I think it turned out looking nice and should look great once printed and painted. Brad sent me a reference photo of a bench that he wanted and it's about the simplest design for a bench that you could ask for. The real magic with these benches will be getting a good concrete look with paint or maybe even going with like a marble look. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. 
The seating doesn't stop there though. A while back I designed some bleachers, which I've cut down into these little three row bleachers. These will take far less time to print and also don't require a very large build platform. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like the bleachers build video as well. So I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description if you'd like to check it out. All of the STL files for the models that I've just made will be available on Patreon. I'll post that link in the description below as well. But now that all the designs are complete, it's time to start printing. Every part was printed using an FDM printer, except for the chair which was SLA 3D printed. The chair would probably be somewhat difficult to print on an FDM printer, however it can certainly be done. Every other part though was very easy to print. Here's a look at all the parts. Everything came out looking great, and I couldn't wait to get everything assembled and painted. I started with the bleachers. To assemble them, you'll want to start by gluing these three support pieces together, then glue the floor and benches on top. Just like the big bleachers that I made before, these little ones look really cool as well. They're easy and quick to print, and would definitely make a nice addition to a small track or a diorama. Obviously the bench doesn't require any assembly, though I did sand a few sections. Both the base of the table and the base of the umbrella needed to be glued on. For the umbrella, I'll be waiting to glue the top piece on until I'm finished painting since it will be a different color than the base. At this point, I was ready to get everything painted. For the lights, I used silver paint. I wanted to paint the bleachers silver as well to try and make them look like aluminum, but I ran out, so I tried my best to make them look metalish with first applying gray primer then some chrome, followed with some clear to hopefully kind of dull the chrome a bit. For being just a simple prototype more or less, it looks alright, but would look even better with a nice paint job. The base of the umbrella I painted chrome, and the top part I painted yellow. Should look nice once put together. I wanted the bench to look like it's made from concrete, so I used some grey primer and a light misting of grey paint. I decided to paint the chair dark brown. Later I'll be painting the center section a lighter brown, turned out to be a pretty nice color combination as you'll soon see. And here's a look at everything after being painted. They definitely look much better with some paint. The only bit of detail painting that I wanted to do was to paint the center of the chair. With the umbrella piece in place, that completes the outdoor dining set. Simple design, but nice looking. I don't really have any use for these items at this time, but regardless, seeing how nice these turned out makes me want to print and paint some more of these. Of course the bleachers and bench turned out nice as well. While I do think that the bleachers would look better with some different paint, for just sort of winging it like I did, I think they turned out looking nice. I kind of like the non-uniformity of how the paint looks, it makes them look a little weathered and aged a bit, really cool looking overall. Of course there's still a little assembly required to get the lights ready, for the sake of convenience I've got a bunch of pre-wired LEDs grouped together which I'll be using for testing. If you were to wire your LEDs individually like this here, it's a lot of excess wire that you'd have to deal with, but for testing it will be just fine. Each LED fit perfectly, and I glued each light housing to the main support piece. Give the LEDs some power, and boom, they look awesome. These would definitely make a nice addition to any 124 scale RC racetrack. I hope you all enjoyed seeing these items come to life, I definitely enjoyed making them. As I said before, all of the STL files can be found on Patreon using the link below in the description. Some of these items will be available on our store page along with the barriers that I designed in a previous video. I'll be sure to post that link in the description as well. For anyone interested in making something similar, I hope this video provided you with some ideas and inspiration. I'd also be interested in knowing what you all think I should design next. Be sure to let me know in the comments. But that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.